man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being. a witness to the brilliance of its master and the executor of his commands. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. of a world untainted by the touch of man.